Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Hey folks, welcome to On the Bench. Today I'm going to tie you up the Weight Watcher Scud. It's a scud I've been using for many, many years. Um, it was designed by Randy Pascal. It's the one we use constantly when we're scud fishing that we've had great success with over the years. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For hook, I'm using a Togan size 14. It's a one-time short um, scud barbless hook. For thread, I'll be using 18 knot black Semperfly Nano Silk. Using Scudback uh, 1 8 Clear by Hairline. For the flash, I'm using Semperfly, it's flat tinsel 0.4 millimeter in Barrage. And for the body, I'm using an olive cactus chenille. Just go ahead and start your thread on the hook. I prefer using Nano Silk for this fly because it's nice and thin and strong. I actually don't, uh, I never used to tie this fly, I used to make Randy tie it all the time until Nano Silk came along because the head for it was difficult and challenging for me. Just bring it back to where the um, curve starts in the hook. Now you can take your um, scud back, a little piece of scud back, and I'm just going to bring my thread back up again about halfway. That's where I'm going to put a loose loop over top of that scud back. Just tie that on, sort of using it as a bit of an underbody. And then just bring it all the way back to where your thread ended before. Bring your thread back up a ways. Now you can take your um, flash uh, holograph that you could use Mirage. Uh, tinsel as I am, you could use holographic flash, any kind of pearl colored flash is fine. I've got one long piece here and I'm just going to wrap it around the um, thread to make two pieces and bring them right on top and just tie it right down on top. So I've got two pieces there. I don't want to come forward. <laughs> I don't have a material clip again on my vise. Hang on. I'm just going to wrap them around here to hold them. Might have to snip them away. There. Now you can take your cactus chenille. Um, you most likely won't find the exact one that I'm using. I got it from somebody at Fly Tying Night many years ago. So I don't know what brand it is. It does have a lighter colored core to it. As you can see. I have found some very similar, it's not the same color and it's in a, a burnt olive color. I got this, it's Fly Angler and I got it at Sea Run. And the other thing you could use is the Semperfly um, Straggle String. And actually I think Brian Chan ties a scud using the Straggle, the UV Straggle. It comes in both UV and the Straggle Eggs, uh, no UV. You could mix two together even to get the color you're looking for for the scuds in your lake. Um, the ones we fish, the lakes we fish, this is the, the color we found that works sort of the best. It's more of a, like a light olive or a golden olive. I've just taken a little bit of the cactus chenille and pulled it right off the string. So I have a little piece of exposed string to tie in on. And then just work your thread right up. Now the best line to use with this fly because it has no weight um, is actually a type one and it's meant for fishing shallow water you know like when the scuds are in less than five feet ideally you want to be in like you know six to eight feet of water casting into two to three as as, as long of a cast as you can make because they're you know pretty spooky when they're in the weeds and shallow water now you can just take your chenille and wind it up the hook in touching turns and it's good to use a, a really erratic retrieve with this fly a really quick erratic very very short strips move the fly as fast as you can but hardly move it at all 
and that's what we found works the best with this particular fly. I've had my most epic days fishing the interior with this pattern. Tie that off, leave a good space at the head here, at least a hook length or two. Go ahead and trim that away. Next, take your, sorry about this, take your scissors and just trim away the very top of the fly so that you have a little platform for your scud back and flash to sit on. You could use ostrich hurl for this fly as well. It wouldn't uh, sparkle the same, but it would have a little something with the flash on the back. So just make sure the flash is running right up the back and then you can tie that off. I like to bend it backwards as well. And just take a few wraps over top of it. Snip that away. See it there. Now you can take your scud back and just, I'm just going to use um, a little drop of crazy glue, or super glue, right on top. Uh, for years and years we never even used scud back on this fly. Randy prefers to use the material bags that some of your materials come in. I think scud back breaks down um, a lot quicker. I prefer using scud back though. So I'm just pulling the scud back tight and I'm pulling my thread tight at the same time. And now I'm going to take a couple wraps in front and a couple wraps in behind. And I'm going to throw a little um, a whip finish or half hitch in here before I cut my scud back off. Always a good idea. And now you can take your scud back and pull it tight and just snip it off. And then build a little black head. The black head is part of, uh, important part of this fly because the scuds have like little black eyes and that's what this is supposed to represent. And the hardest part about this fly is actually just getting it so that you're not trapping any of the chenille in the head. And then whip finish. And I'm going to put two whip finishes of the nano silk in there. You can add a head cement or resin of your choice as well. Snip that off and I'm just going to give it a little touch of the uh, crazy glue on the head. And that's it. It isn't the prettiest fly. It's, you, know, you can just take and pull the legs out. It's not, uh, like I said, it's not the greatest looking fly, but it, it works. It's very, very effective. As long as you get the right retrieve with it. You can just trim it down if there's too much uh, sticking out on the top still. And that's it, the Weight Watcher Scud. Thanks for joining me on this edition of On the Bench. Take care, everyone. As always, conserve the waters and tight lines.